What's going on everybody? Good morning, good evening, or wherever you are, and whatever time it is, and welcome back to yet another video with you, man, I'm Merjaholic, and ladies and gentlemen, welcome to yet another online battle for the Divider to Better Overall Mod for Total War Rome 2. Today we have Syracuse taking on Armenia. That's right, this is going to be a very unique matchup. These are not factions that you see played in online battles. Uh, every day, so this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, so those of you who recently joined our 2K uh, subscriber special stream, you may recognize this battle because this battle is from that stream. So if you did watch that uh, and you don't want to rewatch it again, that I understand completely, no worries. However, I am going to try and figure out exactly how this battle ended the way it did. I won't spoil it right now to those of you who didn't watch the stream and are and are watching this battle for the first time um, but basically we have a very crazy kind of ending and so we may need to pause the game towards the end and kind of dissect the battle and figure out what happens and why does it happen so anyway uh, this is gonna be a lot of fun I am playing against my good friend Calogero excellent DEI player this is our first match out of several we did together so um, I might uh, release another recording of one of our other battles but they are also available on the stream VOD, which I've left up on the YouTube channel anyway. I'll leave it up to you guys if you want to see me break down the other online battles me and him did, so please do feel free to comment that down below. But anyway, um, other thing to note is that we are using the larger battlefield submod for Divided to Para. But anyway, let's jump into the Syracuse army composition and then we'll get started. Alrighty, starting on the far left hand flank of my army, I have Tarantine Cavalry and a Syracuse and Citizen Cav, both melee focused cavalry units. Tarantines with 120 men, by the way, very helpful. Uh, then moving to the right, we have Furio Spears, Furio Swordsman, and then in my front line, I have some Sicilian Footmen, which is very low tier um, infantry, but very high attack. Uh, then we have Samnite Medium Infantry, which is one, two, three, four and five of those and then I have another Sicilian footman but in front of my main front line we have Sicilian levies one unit there and another unit there they do have a javelin each but besides that they're pretty terrible um, and then we also have more Thurio swordsman another Thurio spear a Syr Syracuse citizen cav and then another Tarantine cav unit and then we of course have our general in the center which is a Syracuse and royal cavalry unit and we also have two units of dart slingers. That's right, we brought dart slingers to this match instead of the crossbowmen. Um, that was intentional. I wanted to try and use the very, very high damage of these guys. And they're a lot cheaper than crossbowmen as well. So we'll see how useful they come. Um, a little bit of a warning too, by the way. I may sound a little bit different to normal in this online battle and maybe another one for this week. Um, I'm recording this at a time where I am stopped the hell up with allergies. It's been a rough week for me in terms of dealing with sickness and stuff. Uh, just had a lot of things going on and then now that I have very limited spare time to record, of course I have allergies so I do apologize for that. But anyway, um, I will do my best to cut out any yucky snottiness. So you guys just get to relax and listen to my usual mediocre voice. As we get into it, we're going to be uh, skipping ahead a little bit here. But one thing I want you guys to note is how massive the battlefield is. You can see because we're using the larger battle battlefield mod, um, it is absolutely insane. And so even though this is a pretty much flat map, uh, there can be units out here and we won't see them just due to the DEI line of sight. You can look at the mini map in the bottom right corner if you like. It does kind of give you a rough idea of what we could see, although it's not entirely accurate, I believe. But anyway, uh, let's fast forward a little bit until we start seeing the Armenian forces. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. I've sent forward my left wing of cavalry to scout. We're up on the hill, and now we're getting a little bit of a line of sight on the Armenian army. We can't see it all just yet, but it's starting to come into view, so shortly we'll pause it and go over their army composition. We will know that they are pushing pretty hard forward. Going to be using this slight hill over here that they have. It's not really too crazy, but it will give them a bit of a line of sight advantage, just like it has on my left-hand flank. 
Um, how many units are we seeing? Are we seeing enough? I think we are. Okay. Let's let them form up a little bit. Form up, form up, bro. Um. Okie dokie, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go over the Armenian composition. At least what we can see so far. Alrighty, so let's start with the front of the enemy formation. Let's get now UI up. We have Armenian Thorax Swordsman. One, two, three, and four of them at the very front. Behind them we have Caucasian Archers. One, uh, two, three, and four units of those. Far right hand flank we have a very cheap Levy Armenian Spearman unit. And then moving to the third battle line we have Armenian Highlanders. One, two, and three units of those. We have one unit and two units of Nakara Thorax Swordsman. These guys are Thorax Swordsman units that have insanely good armor piercing damage at 15. Very unique, very powerful, one of the best units that the Armenians get access to. Uh, at the very far rear we have another Levy Armenian Spearman unit. Then we have the General of the Armenians, which is an Armenian Noble Cataphract unit, very powerful. But then it's accompanied by two other Armenian Cataphract units. Now, you will note these are Cataphracts. These guys are some of the best of the best cavalry that there is. Um, I mean, there are better Cataphract units, but not by a massive margin. Uh, these guys will only get beaten really by possibly the nomadic factions they might have like a single unit that has slightly better charge and then the Parthians and the Medians will outclass them but besides that they're basically the best kind of almost a western variant you could say of the cataphract even though they're more so eastern Armenia is kind of at the crossroads of east and west but you know what I mean um, but the point is is that I saw these units and I made a very interesting judgment call and I noticed that I'm only seeing 18 units out of his army um, and so I assume that he only brought 18 because he has three units of cataphracts. Cataphracts are so heavily armored they're very expensive or at least I thought they were and so I am going to make some moves based off that and we'll see how we go with that. Anyway let's play the battle nine minutes left in the battle. Let's see what happens. I am forming up a position right here. He's forming up basically diagonally towards me as well. His army, pound for pound, is better than mine, but from what I can see so far, I have better cavalry. I have more melee troops because I didn't bring as many skirmishes as him. Um, I have Furio Spears to help me win the cavalry fight, and my Dart Slingers should be very good at killing some of these more highly armored units so we'll see how that comes to be helpful I'm gonna be readjusting my line so I can try to envelop it with my infantry pretty standard formation I have so far he is moving his cavalry around to his left trying to at least make me think that he's gonna try and overlap my left it's very unlikely that he would push forward with that, but I do adjust my cavalry just in case, so I bring my spearmen in behind them. Um, and I believe I send over one of my units of cav, possibly? Maybe not yet. Maybe it's my general. Hmm. We shall see. Let's hide our UI now, we don't need that. Oh no, I didn't move forward. Oh no, there it is. The movement order comes over. We are starting to take fire from the archers. But they are targeting my two throwaway units, at least they were. Now they're uh, mass firing on one of my dart slingers. I do notice this and I will move them back, however, uh, it's basically going to be a little bit too late and they are going to take some serious damage, so. Um, very good targeting by uh, Calogero for sure. But, oh, look at all these javelins flying out. Wow, cutting down the. These are Thorax troops, right? Yeah, Armenian Thorax swordsmen. Very good swordsman unit. Very solid uh, mid tier units. Getting just crapped on by my uh, javelins coming out from my melee troops. Trying to uh, do a mass target with my dart slingers, but man, I really should have pulled back my dart slingers earlier. I was really slow on that. Here comes the charges. We are getting charges across the front line. I don't believe the Armenians get the charge off, do they? Doesn't look like it. Ooh. Boom, we crash in. The Samnite warriors are getting amongst it. We have some excellent swordsmen, so I am going to try and use that as much as I can. 
Uh, second line of his troops is throwing their javelins, so we will take damage off that. Plus, I do want to be getting engaged and trying to outflank him, so we will try to get some charges against his cavalry here. Let's see how I micro it. But very quickly, let's pause this and let's just zoom out and you guys might see the massive mistake I've already made. Um, so those of you who haven't seen it, I'm not going to tell you just yet. Let's keep playing the battle. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm basically trying to micro the right hand flank. So we do try and charge. I get charged right here, but then I charge into his cataphract unit. So definitely in favor of him uh, early on on the right hand flank. I am rotating my cavalry around to try and come help. My Furio Spears are right here. They're throwing their javelins and nailing his cataphracts. So that's really useful. Got to get me a bunch of free kills. We're going to be trying to um, get charges in, but I'm very slow on the right hand flank because on my left, I'm trying to envelop. So I was issuing commands over here just as uh, we got charged on the far right. It's just bad timing on my part. And I'm also trying to be aggressive with my cavalry on the left to try and knock out his archers because he has a lot of archers and they just wiped out one of my dart slingers almost. And now they're mass targeting my infantry, which are getting hammered because they're not heavily armored. Samnite warriors are not doing well. We have a bit of a misclick issue here where I select a bunch of units that all just moved, so that's definitely not going to help. We do have the Armenian general bogged down here on the far right hand flank. He is stuck. So that is absolutely excellent. That is what I want. I want him to be ground down. I know the cataphracts are fantastic cavalry units, but if I get them stuck in combat, then we should be able to outmatch them as time goes on. However, now it's time to pause, ladies and gentlemen, and see my massive mistake. The Armenians did have 20 troops, at least 20 units. Uh, and here are the last two coming in right now. <laughs> Uh, Armenian Skirmisher Cavalry. Not the most amazing cav unit. In fact, it's pretty low tier. Um, pretty cheap, no armor, but uh, it's absolutely perfect timing. Basically, what Calogero did is he sent it across the entire edge of the map. Use the hill up here to scout ahead as well. And it's basically come all the way up here and it's now smashing into the rear of our lines. Just as we have a bunch of infantry here, here, and here that are uh, breaking. So his cavalry is coming in perfectly to basically shatter my main body line, which is horrible. And you will note, we don't really have an answer for this. I mean, we have our slingers, our dart slingers right here, so they will uh, begin firing shortly. I have a Furious Spear unit up here that I've left behind, so that's a bit of a mistake on my part. And my one unit of cav I did have on my left is charging up here to come and get the archers, so they can't come back and help out yet. Um, and all of my right-hand cavalry is engaged. My general's over here engaged. Engage, engage. So, let's see what their cavalry does. But basically, this should have been the end of the battle here, in my opinion. He just played this so perfectly. This is probably the single best move I've ever seen anyone do in an online battle. It might seem a little bit over the top, but the thing about it is that he caught me completely off guard. And, I mean, it might just be a bit of a silly mistake because I overestimated how much cataphracts cost. Look at that. He's just shattered massive proportions on my main body line. Absolutely devastating. Now my dart slingers are getting some good kills. But they are going to get charged shortly. But still, I'm going to be very happy about that. Got to really kill his cavalry. If I can kill the cav, maybe I can bring this back. But it's very unlikely at this point. My cav is recharging into his infantry. Um, our left over here is going okay. But we're now getting wrapped up by his center. So we're getting outflanked over here, but my spearmen are going to come in and try and help stem the tide right there. We lose our dart slings right here just now. And we get almost no bang for a buck with them, so I really messed up my micro with them. My general is trying to pull out and uh, come in and do some charging as well on the cavalry. In the meantime, the Armenian general is out here still stuck in combat. He has not been cycling his cataphracts, so he's definitely not getting his bang for his buck with them. A little bit of a mismanagement here. See, we're seeing them come back now to recharge, but look, they're down to 58 men. It is almost pointless at that point. Um, but my general uh, gets charged head on by the Skirmisher Cav. But the Skirmisher Cav are actually getting annihilated. Uh, they're really low on morale and they're just losing their numbers quite fast. So this is excellent for me. 
And I believe my general has the fear ability, perhaps? If he does, hopefully I'll use it. I can't remember what ability I gave him for this battle, but we'll see. I have a way, they're about to lose a skirmisher cav unit. I'm trying to bring my cavalry out of these fights to come in and help out, but it's not going to be ideal. But our Thero Spearmen are here and they are helping. We have 52 kills on them already. We've only lost 10 men. Here comes the Armenian general though. Boom! Savage charge against my cav. Another charge over here. Our general charges into their cataphracts. We will lose men, but we will come out on top in that engagement because we have a lot more men. And our general unit is pretty great. Not as good as the cataphract unit, but it is better in terms of skill, as in melee attack and defense. Uh, meanwhile, across the entire front line, uh, we have two units holding out in the center somehow, but they're going to be surrounded pretty soon. And our left end flank is doing very well. It's wrapping up the last of the Armenians out there, um, dealing with the cheap levy spearmen and a couple of Florax swordsman units that we were fighting earlier. The Highlanders are coming in as well. They have good armor piercing damage, but very low melee attack, so they won't do very well. Um, once we route some of these units, you will see me start giving recharge uh, attack orders like right here. We have one coming in. I just have my unit thr uh, throw its javelins. And now here comes the charge as well. The Therio Swordsmen are coming in to help out their Semnite Brethren. Beautiful recharge. Annihilates that Armenian unit. Off they go. See you later. This is the Armenian Florax Swords. Perfect. Almost our entire left flank's finished, um, but here we have another big up uh, for us, the, uh, for the Syracusan army. The Armenian general gets shattered off the battlefield. He doesn't get killed, but he does run with 54 men left, 52 now. Um, that's a massive blow to the Armenians. I don't know how the hell that happened. He just didn't micro his general well enough, and because of that, uh, that's going to be a massive damage on his army's morale. He still has a lot of troops left though. Big center here skirmishers but um somehow the two units that were in our center our syracusan units they held out and they actually pushed back the armenian thorax swords that are now retreating uh, there's a group right there that i just circled another one back here there's more in the distance as well this is kind of turning around potentially i do have more cavalry than him i got two units while well, he only has this one unit over here and it's about to rout uh him losing that general was such a massive loss to him. I'm going to be looking for targets of opportunity right here, like those swordsmen. They've already routed. Do I call it off in time? No, I'm not sure if I do. No, I don't. Bit of a useless charge, but that's okay. I'm trying to keep my cavalry over here. Getting them in positions where they could come in and do recharges. And now I'm going to be trying to form up a battle line over here. And somehow, ladies and gentlemen, look at this. Look at all of these Armenians routing off the battlefield. <laughs> oh wow and ladies and gentlemen we actually did end up bringing it back uh the replay ended at about 30 seconds uh earlier than what the battle actually ended but because we just routed the general and the thorax sword started retreating as did the cataphrax we somehow brought it back and to me that was just absolutely mind-blowing that despite us getting that perfect outflank by Calogero sitting his uh, skirmisher cap all the way around the battlefield, um, we were still able to bring it back. It seems like the main contributing factor was us killing his general and uh, making sure his cavalry just didn't get the kills that they needed to. But anyway, let's go to the statistics screen and check out exactly how many kills they did get. Alrighty, so here we are at the stat screen, and as you can see, his cataphracts just did not do what they needed. 63 kills on one of them, is nowhere near good enough. 87 kills on his general, nowhere near good enough. 225 kills, this is acceptable for this one cataphract unit, but that's it. Um, and then they routed off the battlefield with half of their men left. I'm not sure if their morale is low or just losing their general was such a big blow to them. Um, but the skirmisher cab got more kills, which is pretty interesting, although they did get some excellent rear charges. But really, these cataphracts, they should be getting kills similar to that of what elephants do. I would expect these guys to be getting around 300 kills e each uh, with some good micros. So I think they just kind of got bogged down in combat for too long. Um, and they were taking on weaker cavalry, my Tarantines and my Citizen Cav. However, I supported my cavalry with my Thurio Spears. And look how fantastic they did. 149 kills and 124. And both of those units 
had the majority of their men left. I think we only lost like 10 men for this one unit here on the left, so um, that's amazing. Uh, these these cavalry units, they didn't get many kills, but they did their job in holding down the majority of the enemy cataphract units. And because of that, my Furio Spears were able to come in and get some kills. Um, my Furio Swordsmen also helped out a fair chunk. 257 kills is nothing to scoff at. And then my Samnite Warriors actually did really well. Uh, especially on the left hand flank here where we got 236 kills, 130. Not bad at all. Um, but to be honest, I mean... I'm still really kind of shocked that we ended up winning that battle back. It's just we were able to keep our general alive. He got some good kills. 189 is pretty respectable. Um, but the rest of my cavalry did not get the kills they needed. But they were able to hold down those cataphracts for long enough. Plus, the dart slingers, man. What a waste of an investment that was. I have hardly ever used them. So I did want to try them out in this battle. I've used the crossbowmen a fair bit. And I know they're pretty powerful. But I just wanted to see how these guys would be. Uh, I doubt I'll be in a rush to use them again. They were just really hard to try and get worthwhile kills with, despite me giving them uh, a targeted order on like his Forex swords. So I might have to do a little bit more experimentation with that. But something I might have liked to have seen from him instead of bringing four units of Caucasian archers, just bring like one or two and then use the money from two of these archer units to give you another unit of cavalry perhaps. Uh, or maybe even. Uh, getting rid of one archer and the levy spearmen and bringing in like two decent mid-tier spearmen and then just having 19 uh, units in your whole army. Because uh, the cataphracts, while they're amazing, they do need some support. And he didn't really have all that much infantry come in to support them. Uh, my throwaway swordsmen also did their job in soaking up some charges from the thorax swords, so that did help out. And it made uh, the thorax swords not get as many kills as they otherwise would. Uh, his Nakara troops did fantastic, but they didn't get involved uh, quickly enough and he only had two of them. So, uh, it is what it is and his Highlanders actually did pretty well. So, he had a very nice army, just the cavalry just kind of got left out a little bit. And yeah, I'd say maybe uh, less archers and another uh, cavalry unit or less archers and just more mid-tier spearmen. Because these low-tier spearmen, the only thing they're good for is soaking up charges of the enemy. They're not even going to be very good at supporting cavalry. Uh, so these guys, in my opinion, even though they're very cheap and they can kind of help you fill a hole, I just wouldn't have gotten them at all. I would have uh, deleted these two guys and at least one or two archer units. Get yourself uh, two decent mid-tier units instead, if you can. Uh, money is tight in these battles at 22.5k, which is the normal kind of funds amount. But anyway, massive props to my man Calogero. Uh, for the battle and pulling off that awesome maneuver. It was really really sick. I really enjoyed that um, You guys should go and watch the stream actually I do have all the battles timestamped and you'll see my reaction I was absolutely blown away and I thought our battle was over when he did that really cool Khalid uh, Ibn al-Walid style uh, Maneuver with his light cavalry. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I shall see you in the next one